I do have a flat screen 4x3 television and I have an older Sony surround sound system that I would like to integrate somewhere along the sides of the television rather than having them in this case and behind the doors which kind of muffles the sound. So my idea is to look behind where the TV is mounted and find some area that I can mount some wood and add my surround sound based on these little mounting brackets. My first thought is to integrate wood in this area all along the length, which I've measured the length of the television. It's 27 inches, but I'm gonna use my wood cut for 26 and a half inches. And you can see that there are some holes back here that you can mount or that I'm going to try to mount wood in where my finger is going. There's a hole in the top of this metal bracket and on the bottom of this metal bracket where you can see my finger going through. So I'll just use some bolts, washers, and nuts to hold the wood on the back of this. And then I can mount these little pieces of surround sound kit to that wood and kind of have it somewhat extended out along the side of the television to give you an idea of maybe uh, left and right front and rear mounted and then underneath it down here I can put a shelf for my center channel. So here's some random wood that I found in my garage and it would serve the purpose of giving you a visual understanding of what I'd like to do is somehow mount the mount the brackets to hold these speakers and then mount this behind the television in a way that I could use up top and below for the mounting of those trying to have um, I guess a space saving design so I could extend it up a little bit higher and it probably would look tacky because the wood is exposed making the actual board a little bit longer than the length of the television uh, and that would probably entail maybe something similar to this to where you have just enough to mount this sticking above it and below it and attaching it to the bracket behind the, that the TV's mounted on so I think I may go with this these are just some spare pieces of wood that I've already that I had cut prior to a prior to this project. They look like they're about the same length, and so it looks long enough to where it would put it would stick out just a little bit enough to put this on the top and maybe that on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put some holes in this and mount the wood onto the bracket that holds the television. It's always useful to have a drill and a random bag of screws handy for miscellaneous projects. So what I've, tried, what I've decided to do is take this, use this area or these two, whichever one that's more convenient, to put them at the very end. That way I can have as little wood exposed as possible on both ends and then line up this piece of wood behind there use my pencil to mark holes drill the holes in and then attach it to the back side upside down to give me the most options for mounting this. Now the one thing I may run into is the clearance that I have with this underneath my television and the size of the speakers. Now I'll give you a visual understanding of what I was describing earlier where I have my piece with my brackets on either side 
and I would place them behind the television like so. And now you can get kind of an understanding. The speaker would be here on the top and the speaker would be here on the bottom on both sides. And that's how you would have your 4.1 or 5.1 surround sound. Not true surround sound, but you would still have your left and right, front and rear surrounds. Son, it's muffin time. Get that right, buddy. Muffins. Muffin. Muffins. Muffin. Muffins. Muffins. Muffin time. Okay. Muffin time. Muffin okay. time. Okay. All right, put them in the garbage. Hey, 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 come back. Put this in the garbage. Okay, put it in the garbage. Put that back in the cabinet. Go put it back. Here you go, buddy. You're welcome. Hey, put this in the garbage. There you go. I have one of my satellite speakers that I will be using to mount on this. And what I'm going to do in order to get everything lined up properly is to mount the bottom one on first to give me enough clearance to go underneath the television and then once that happens I should be able to have clearance for the top one now you can see what it looks like with the bottom piece fully assembled all I have to do now is just give myself enough clearance underneath the television for this to sit. And that gives you an idea of how it would look right down here if it was mounted in place. So I think I'll have plenty of room with these mounted down and the ones up top. I'm faced with two options. I can use a marker to get in the very small area right here to mark the back side of the wood when I lay it here or I'll have to take my television off the bracket and mark it like that. The lazy me does not want to do the TV off option. So I'm able to I'm willing to invest a little more time to try to mark it the other way. And the way that I'm going to do that is see where the top of my metal bracket is and the bottom of my metal bracket. I'm going to draw a line across and then in the middle of that I'll drill holes. Now that I have my lines and circles drawn, I'm going to see if they line up with the bracket behind the television so I can do this only one time. Before I do anything else, I want to make sure that I have screws that are large enough to go through the wood and into the metal bracket to hold it in place. These are small diameter, which is not important. What is important is that I have an end large enough to hold it on both sides. 
So what I've done is substituted a washer, which gives me extra thickness or diameter size, so I can hold that to the wood as well as the metal bracket the television is mounted on. Now you pick a drill bit, which will accommodate the size of your hole, preferably just a little bit bigger so you can put the bolt in without any resistance. Now I have my holes drilled, and all I have to do is see if the holes line up and then it's a very simple mounting process. And now you can see what it looks like once the board has been mounted to the back of the plate that holds the television. And you can see where I have the speaker angled down. And then once I put the top one up, I can have the speaker angling and make the proper adjustments by tightening up everything on this side. Are you fixing stuff? Uh, you fixing stuff, buddy? I can fight. You make them fight? Uh, uh, huh? It's when they suck. Uh, what you do? Maybe we should. Huh? So we made a big airplane. You made a big airplane? So this is day number two and I've gotten 90% of everything done that I planned on. I've got the board behind and you can kind of sort of see right here where the board is at. Everything is mounted. I did a pretty good decent job with the wire hiding and running cable management wise on the top and then the same thing on the bottom there. But as I go down I will show you a little bit more of what my ultimate plans are. You can see that I have my hot glue gun down there. And I tried to glue this shelf onto this pole back here, but the, the glue itself wouldn't hold. And the reason being is I wanted to put the center channel speaker on the shelf, and that way have everything up out of the way so I can still use a portion of this for my unboxing videos and kind of keep it away from my son so he wouldn't be tempted to play with it. And after the hot glue failed, I decided to pick up some JB Weld Super Weld Professional Grade. And this specifically said it's for adhesive with steel and metals. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that, see how it works, and then let you see the finished product if that was the case. And now you can see what everything looks like once I have put it in place. Got all the cablings done, got all the corrections done with the shelf, which ended up taking a little bit longer than I wanted to, but it turned out nice in my opinion. I now have 5.1 surround sound around the TV rather than in the four corners that it's supposed to be. But it's all nice and neat and tucked away and I'm very happy with how this project turned out.